Hello everyone. Welcome. Today we are going to learn about input and output operations in Python. So what are input operations? So input operations involves receiving data or information into a program from an external source such as user input, data from files or networks. So what are output operations? So output info operations involves sending data or information from a program to an external destination such as uh, displaying over a screen, writing to a file or sending files over a network. So in Python, uh, there are two ways in which input and output operations are performed. The first one is using the input function and the print function and the second one is using the file handling. So we'll talk about file handling in further videos because we have a separate chapter for file handling. So in this video we are going to see the input functions and print function. So first we'll see the print function. So here you can see I have written print and then inside the double quotes I have written python coding. Uh, when I'll run the code python coding has been printed. Now in single quotes I'll write python and then coding and if you'll execute the code then you will see there is no difference. So uh, the single quotes and double quotes both are same. So we'll now move to the next. Now if you want to print this python coding this coding in a new line so then you can use backslash n so backslash n is used to print into a new line so if you'll run the code you will see that coding has been printed in a new line now what if i want to give a extra space of four digits to between this python and coding so for that we'll use the backslash t keyword so if i'll run the code you will see that the space is little more so wait i'll first print a simple python coding and then i'll print it and now you can see the difference that the simple python coding which i have printed is that much is have that much space and with the backslash t has this much space now we'll see how to print a variable now for that we'll first declare a variable that is a equal to 3 and then we'll print it so we'll print uh, we are we have to print a the value of a so we'll, we are printing uh, in double quotes a now we'll see that a has been printed as in we are printing a string a we don't printing a variable a so for that we will for printing a variable we only write the name of the variable so um, now here you can see if i'll run the code then 3 has been printed means the value of the variable a 3 has been printed now if i want to First, I will give a new variable that is age and then I'll call it age and then I'll print that variable this 19. Now, how someone should know that what this 19 is if someone is not seeing your code? It could be a number. How a, a person should understand that this 19 is age? So for that, we can print a a string a constant a string with the variables also so i'll show you how to do that so i'll uh, print the string that my age is and then using the comma operator i'll concatenate this string and this variable and when i run this code you can see that my age is 19 has been printed now this is one way there is an another way in which we can print the variable so if you have used c language then you should know that for printing integers we use this format percentage d and then the variable with that module that percentage okay when we'll print this, then you can see then same thing has been printed my age is 19 
now there is an another way that is called formatted uh, way in which we use a format function so we'll write here my ages then we'll give the parentheses then we'll give zero here and then we'll use the dot operator and then we'll give the format function and inside the function we'll call our variable that is age and you can we can print my age is 19 now i'll give it here age 2022 and then i'll give it 18 and now i can print multiple variables in a single string and i'll show you how now here you can see my age is 0 and i'll write here and my age my age in 2022 was and then i'll give the parenthesis inside it i'll give now this was this zero was for the first variable and this one is for the second variable and now inside this format i'll give age and then i'll call my this variable age 2022 variable and now if i run the code you will see that my age is 19 and my age in 2022 was 18 so but this all so you will see that uh, multiple variables has been called in a single string now this is a very long way it's taking this we are first giving the index then this then we are using this extra words so we can do it in a more simpler way we'll just do that we'll write we'll use the f string and we'll give f before the quotes and then we'll quote the quotes and then we'll write my age is and then i'll call my i'll write the variable first variable which i want to print first and then i'll give my age in 2022 was and then i'll call the age 2022 variable and if i'll run the code you'll see my age in my age is 19 and my age in 2022 was 18 so here you can print multiple variables in a single string now now here we are taking two strings that are first one is hey then we are giving another string that is 2023 and then then what we want to do we want that uh this separator this uh this between this hey and 2023 uh something different could come means i want to give a colon between this hey and 2023 so i'll use this separator and then i'll in quotes i'll give in double quotes i'll give uh, a colon and when i'll print this you will see hey and then a colon and then 2023 has been printed now i can give here anything i can give a comma so comma has been printed now i can give a full stop and i can give spaces too you can see here a space has been, i will i can give more spaces and you will see that between these two strings this separator is giving uh, that much space so that's why we can use the separator also now this was for this was it for the print function now we'll move to the input function so for the input function we'll first take a variable and then we will use the input that is input and then we'll fill execute the code you will see you'll see that a equal to input but nothing is printed here means how a person should know that what to uh, give what input to give to the system that here is simply uh, a line is blinking so a user can give anything so for that we can prompt a message to the user such as in this case i am printing enter your name and when i'll run this code then you can see enter your name has been prompting and then you can write your name and then you can if you press enter so nothing is getting printed but 
the program is right and program is getting executed as you can see this right uh this stick symbol so for now what is happening your name has your name you are giving is correct and it is getting stored also but you didn't give the command to print it so for that you will give the command print you will use the print function and then you will give your variable that is a and when you now run the code then if you'll write your name that is in my case you can write anything and if you'll press enter then you will see that python coding has been printed now now we'll see this type that what is the, the type of this variable that that input is is getting stored in which type of data type so for that we'll see first we'll write now you can see that first it's getting printed python coding which you have entered now it is the type of the variable is string okay that's fine now we want to take a number as an input and then we want to print that number so we'll execute the code and then we'll give 45 here then we we'll press enter and you can see 45 is printing but it is not printing as integer it is printing in string only so for converting into an string what we'll do we'll put this into an input inside this integer function basically we are doing the conversion here a string to integer and we for that we are using this integer function and now if we'll run the code then it is asking for enter a number we'll give a random number and now you will see that this 78 is getting printed and this is in this integer format means integer data type now you can change the data type to float also or any data type you want so i'll write 34.23 i'll fill give here you will see that 34.23 has been printed and then its type is float now now i'll remove all this now if we want if we want to uh take one more input so you simply have to define a new variable so i'll define b then i'll take input and then i will write enter another number okay no you don't think that this is going to take input as first enter a number so i'll give 45 then it is asking enter another number then i'll give 78 oh i have printed only a here so i'll execute the code again so it's asking for enter the number means the first input has been executed then the second input is getting executed enter another number so i'm giving 34 now you will see 56 and 34 has been printed because i print uh, a and b variables now we have to for taking for taking input we have to write uh, we have to create a new line here so we can do in single line also as in we'll first declare two variables here then we'll declare two inputs here and we'll write here enter two numbers now if we'll execute the code it is first asking for enter a number that i am giving 12 then it is asking for enter uh, two numbers means enter the second number i write here 2 so that's why it's printing 2 and now you can see 12 and 11 has been printed i i correct it enter the second number now you can see that you can see that 12 and 11 has been printed now now we are running the code you will see that it is first asking for one number then it's asking for the second number so it is also being so long it is asking for two numbers different different times so we can solve this by doing that we'll just use this split this split function and then if we'll run this so now what we have to do 
we have to write if, uh, i have given the first number that is 45 now i'll give the second number that is 23 and you can see that 45 and 23 has been printed but we have to uh, type that input by giving spaces means first the first integer then secondly second integer so what if we'll write uh, by giving uh, only write one alphabet will not write two digit will only write one digit so if we'll press enter you can see a error has been occurred so basically you have to do what you have to write one digit then you have to write this by giving a space we have to write the second digit and you will see that 34 and 89 has been printed now you can use the map function uh, for printing multiple int values so what what is map function so it is a built-in function in python that applies a specific function to each element of an iterable so i can show you how you can write it first you will do what uh, you can take here multiple values a b sorry a b c d and then you can do what you can give the map function then inside it you can give it int then we'll give the comma and then you'll give input and you can print here something uh prompt here something enter four numbers and then you'll do what you will use the split function and now if you run the code and you will have to print uh, each variable then only the variable will get printed so you can see here asking for uh, four numbers so i'll give 10 then with a space i'll give 11 then again with a space i'll give 12 and then i'll give 13 i'll press enter then you will see that 10 11 12 13 has been printed and if you'll see the type the type of a then you'll see two three and four then the type of a is int so you can change this to float also so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video till then bye thank you